Hello and welcome back to the course on Power BI. Hope you had a chance to play around with the time series uh, data and really practice the two different approaches. And today we're going to talk about aggregation and granularity. It's going to be quite an important tutorial because this is something that governs everything that happens in Power BI and you're going to be using this knowledge further down throughout the sections of this course and more importantly in your career as you use Power BI. All right, so what are we talking about? Well, first of all, I'm going to ask a question which might seem very uh, rhetoric at the start, but we're going to actually take some time to um, really think about it and see what's going on. So the question is, um, how does Power BI, in this visualization that we've created, how does Power BI know that we want to aggregate our data at the monthly level? Right, so it might be an obvious question. You'll say, Kirill, well, uh, that's the way we've created the visualization. We've put, you know, the month here, we've put the period here, then we drilled into the month, we've got the unemployed here. But let's really think about this for a second. If we look at our data here, you'll see that we've got, apart from the period and the unemployed, we've actually got other columns. We've got men and women, so we've got the gender column, we've got age, which has multiple different age groups. And how does Power BI know that we want to completely disregard these columns, or not disregard them, but we don't want to aggregate at their level. So we want to, uh, for instance, uh, for let's say uh, here we've got the, uh, the peak at uh, 2010, April, right? So for 2010 and April, we want to add up the unemployment for uh, men and women and also across all age groups. How does Power BI know that? Well, Power BI knows to which level we want to aggregate based on the level of granularity of our visualization. So. Uh, the way to think about it is there's two separate things. There's our visualization, so the things that we specify for this specific chart, um, the parameters or the restrictions, the rules, the uh, columns and uh, different uh, th hierarchies and different things that we specify for this chart. And then there is what Power BI does with the data. So those are two separate concepts. We are dictating what happens on the chart and then Power BI is taking that information and it is using that to understand how to aggregate the data, how to mesh the data together, how to sum up or average out or whatever other aggregation you apply on the data. Um, and so Power BI knows that from uh, what you're doing on the visualization. So here, for example, we've told Power BI that we want this visualization to be at the year, quarter and month level. So the uh, numeric variable here is unemployed, right? It doesn't affect the level of granular granularity. It is the item that is being aggregated, right? So um, it's uh, it, you have two types of columns. You have numeric columns, which get aggregated, so they get summed up or averaged out and so on. And you have uh, categorical columns or you have time series columns, which actually specify at which level of detail those aggregations need to occur. So the only... Uh, other column, which is not numeric here that we have in our visualization, if you just look through um, through this, well, basically through this part of your uh, Power BI dashboard, you'll see that the only other column we have is period. And currently it's um, set or it's drilled down to the monthly level. So that's how Power BI knows that it needs to take the data and aggregate it to the monthly level. And we can easily uh, manipulate that. We can change these things so that uh, the level of granularity or aggregation is higher or lower. So for instance, we know that in this line here, in this one line, there's actually two lines in reality. There's the female line and there's the male line. Right now they're being aggregated together because nowhere here are we specifying that we want gender as a separate uh, element or a separate level of detail in our uh, aggregation, in our visualization. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's see how we can change that. If we take gender and put it into legend, so basically color, right? What will happen is we'll actually get two lines. Now we have a green line, which is for all uh, men and the black line, which is all for all women. And we can see that Power BI is now aggregating our data at not only a year, quarter, month level, but also at gender level and therefore there's twice the number of points on our uh, visualization so we've become we've increased the level of granularity and or uh, we've decreased the level of aggregation 
And so now basically Power BI is going through these uh, rows and it's not only just looking at the period, but it's also looking at the gender column and it's using those two columns to aggregate. It's still not taking into account age, but already we have more information on our chart. Um, and also you can, you can change this. You can say that you don't want to aggregate by gender, you want to aggregate by age, for example, and you can drag this in here. And now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different groups. And bear in mind, in this case, age is not just a numeric variable, it's actually a category. So we have different buckets, 16 to 19, 20 to 24, 25 to 34. It's like we have bins for our age, which have been uh, pre-configured for us in our data set. And the bottom line is that what we're actually doing is we're summing up uh, our visualization or adding up our um, unemployment values at the different age levels. And therefore now we've again, once again, increased the level of granularity or decreased the level of aggregation. They, those two work hand in hand. So granularity is the opposite of the level of granularity or level of detail is the opposite of level of aggregation. So we're aggregating at a um, much lower level of aggregation or we're um, aggregating at a higher level of granularity. And that is a way how we can control um, the detail of our visualization. It's very important to understand this and uh, know that you can control, not, not only you're just changing how the chart looks, but you're actually changing what Power BI does in the background. So when you've specified here period, uh, year, quarter, month, so we're saying, okay, th that's the level of uh, detail we want to go in that column, and then we also want to add the age column. Power BI goes to your data and then adds it up or does that aggregation that you've selected at that level. And finally, so let's just change this back to uh, instead of instead of age, let's change this back to gender. And finally, here, what we else we can do is we can instead of we can change the aggregation that we're performing. We've already played around with this a little bit. So here you can say average. Uh, the visualization didn't change much. The axis did change because you're just moving from sum to average. But let's say, for instance, we take instead of average, we can take median here. You'll see that it does change, or you can take uh, minimum or maximum. And again, the visualization changes because we're performing a different aggregation. So there we go. Um, There's a very important topic in uh, data mining, in uh, visualizations, and hopefully uh, this is uh, now a bit more clear. And this is something that we'll practice throughout our work with Power BI. So with time, you will become very, very comfortable with these concepts of aggregation, granularity, and level of detail. And I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.